a weird couple days. So I think we need to focus on some positivity because I've been a little bit, just a wee bit too complainy lately. For example, it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and it's 80 degrees. The real feel is 92, but the humidity is 82%. 82%. I am so hot just sitting here. <laughs> uh, so, so sorry if I start to sweat, but I want to make this video because it is, it is so important, especially in moments like right now when I'm going through and how I'm feeling. Oh, this is the time to do it, right? We need to focus on the positive. We need to focus on our, our gratitude, focus on being grateful for what we have. So for example, it's miserable outside because it's so hot but at least it's not snowing to the point where i can't get out of my driveway right because we still have ac i can still be comfortable i can go in my room my other room and it, the ac is blasting right so we have to remind ourselves to be grateful and that's what we're going to focus on today and i'm so excited because you know when you're feeling it when you're feeling anxious depressed angry irritated complaining just give it to God, right? We're going to give it to God today and we're going to say, God, please take my frustration. Please take my complaining and help guide me to seeing what I should be grateful for, right? And it can be, God, thank you for a new day. Uh, thank you for, you know, this device I'm recording on to make this video, Lord. You know, just if you have to be so easy and simple with it, do that. Sorry, my ear itches and I'm going to itch it. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get into the word because we all need it, especially with, you know, certain things going on in the world too. It's so easy to like focus on the negative and get heated and get angry about things. And I, I have suggestions to get off social media, go touch some grass, when it's not as hot, but also read the word and talk to God because he's ultimately gonna be what helps you. So always, always go to God first, right? So we're going to look up Bible verses to help with, if I could type on my phone, that would be amazing. get into it shall we because it's it's one of those days right uh, but real real quick i just want you to know that whatever you're going through god's got you okay you just you need to know that you guys where's james hat like one book of the Bible I really forget. I always forget about. I don't know why. Isn't it? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Romans, First and Second. That's right. Um, well, interesting. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Galatians, Timothy, John, Revelation. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Where are you, James? I'm so embarrassed. James, okay, it's after Hebrews 13.52. Oh, it's really far back here. Oh, I may have stand. What are we on, James 5? I'm going to start at James 5, 
7. Be patient, then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop. Patiently wait for the autumn and spring rains. You, too, be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. And then 1 Corinthians 10, 10. I will say, like, when you're struggling, it is really hard to focus and it's hard to be in the moment because there's just so much, you know? It's so important to like stop and take a minute, you know? You know, you're aware. All right, so we're doing our first Corinthians 10. Ten, ten. And we're actually going to start it. No, we're not. We're going to, yep. Start at nine. We should not test Christ as some of them did and were killed by snakes. And do not grumble as some of them did and were killed by this destroying angel. And I like that. Do not grumble. <laughs> That's complaining, but I like that word better. I've been grumbling. Philippians 2. I'm just going to look that one up because I don't go to it enough to know where it's at. Still learning where all the books of the Bible are. Some of them super easy. Other ones I'm like, I don't know where this is. Some of them I don't know if it's in the Old Testament, New Testament. Philippians 13.02. New Testament. I've been really trying to read the word more and understand it more. It's been interesting. So like when I wake up right now, I'm in Luke. So I read chapter two today. I read chapter one yesterday, and then I'm going to go to Acts. What are we at again? Oh, how am I at? Philippians 2, 14, 14, where are you? Do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure, children of God, without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. And then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service coming from your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. I read Philippians um, 2, 14 through 18. First Thessalonians. Okay, 1 Thessalonians 5.18. There is a train going right now. I'm going to try and talk over it because I can't sit here all day. I'm going to melt. <laughs> okay, thank you for understanding and thank you for seeing that I also am just a real person that's struggling right now and maybe some of you are too and we can like get through this together okay so I think these videos too are so important where instead of just coming on and pretending everything's fine I am not good today and that's what I'm trying to do is be okay you know put my mind right with God so let's do that together 
So right now we're going to 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. I have to look at it a hundred times because I forget. <laughs> Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks to all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit, do not treat prophecies with contempt, but test them all. Hold on to what is good, reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. I really needed that, you know, like God is with me. So it's like, thank you, God, for being here with me. Thank you for understanding and being merciful to my struggle. Uh, thank you that I, I am able to still do the things I need to do today. Yes, I'm a little warm, but that's not going to kill me. You know, we need to be grateful. We need to be content with everything. That's the other thing I've been struggling with is just being content. I am one of those people that's like, I just want to go, 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 go. So trying to learn to like, just be, just be. <laughs> it's a little tricky. All right, let's go to Peter 4, 9. Okay, Peter 4, 9. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. I love that. Okay, let's just do a couple more. Let's go to Romans 12. I was just in Romans, <laughs> and then I lost it, it's after X. Romans 12, yes. Okay. Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve that God's will is his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belong to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us. If your gift is prophesying, prof prophesying then prophecy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good, be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourself, Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fever, fervor, fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. 
Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. That was the entire chapter 12, Romans. And I really needed that because it's so important just not just to not complain, but be grateful and to also be kind and giving and loving towards others, especially in a time when we're not feeling at peace and we're very on edge. It is so quick to be triggered right now. And I just want to also say that everyone gets triggered. Everyone has triggers and it's what we do with those triggers. That's important, right? And so when we take those triggers, we give them to God and we ask God for guidance, you know? So let's, let's do that today. Let's just give it to God. Give it to God. God, take my worries, take my anxieties, take my stress, take this heat, Lord. I am sweating, but that's okay because I'm alive and I thank God for a new day, right? So let's pray and I will let you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for understanding that we all struggle and it's how we get through it and sometimes we have to get through it together. The community is so important, so thank you so much for being here. You have no idea how much I appreciate you and just the love and kindness shows us so much. All right, Lord, I just ask that you bless this person watching this today and you show them your way, Lord, and you guide them to peace, love, happiness. And we take those complaints and we take the grumbling and we give it to you, God. And instead we, we accept and we acknowledge that things happen and we just have to go, okay, but thank you, God, for a new day. Thank you for the birds that sing that we get to hear. Thank you for the green grass that's growing because of the humidity we have today, Lord. We want to take those negatives and we want to twist it and make it positive, but also understand that sometimes negatives tell us things. So, Thank you, Lord, for our emotions. Thank you for helping guide us on what we do with our emotions. And thank you, Lord, for taking our anxieties, our worries, our stress. We give it to you, Lord, now. I pray that the person watching this is blessed and they give all of their worries and stress to you, Lord, as we move forward with the day. Amen. All right. Thank you again. And I will see you again very, very